Let's take a look at how we can replace the document without losing the template and creating a new one. If you've been creating new templates every time your documents get updated, you've been wasting time essentially, because there's a better way. Instead of creating a new template from scratch, which means, you know, uploading your documents, adding the recipients, the fields, workflows, configuring settings and all that stuff, what you can do is you can replace the, the underlying document that sits in your template instead of having to create a new one each time the docs get updated. And you're gonna learn how to do this today in this video. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solution Consulting. We help financial advisory firms automate document workflows using DocuSign eSignature. And if you want help with DocuSign templates or integrations, you can book a complimentary call using the link in the description down below. And if you want to become proficient at DocuSign, learn how to build templates, and well, just basically become a DocuSign expert, you can enroll in one of my courses or download my free DocuSign cheat sheet. You'll find all these links just down below. Now let's take a look at how we can replace the documents without losing the template and creating a new one. So the very first thing you wanna do is to locate the template that you want to update. Once you've clicked on your template, then go to edit. You can see that I've only got one file in this template. And so that's this uh, standard NDA. And actually, if I show you the field by going to the next tab, you can see I've got some fields here on the third page. And so instead of creating a new template, which will cause me having to drag all the fields and configure the recipients and all that stuff, I just wanna replace the underlying document by uh, this document. This is the new version that's been updated and it contains extra terms. And I don't want to create my new template. I just wanna replace the underlying document. So if we return to the first screen, you wanna click on the more options and replace that's gonna ask you to select the documents you want to upload. You just upload the doc and then you should see a preview of the new doc. So you can clearly see it's the new one that's here. And now your only job is to adjust the position of the fields. So if we go to the third page, you can see that the fields are not aligned with the lines, I guess, the underlying lines of the, of the documents. So what you wanna do is you wanna select all your fields and then using the down key, you just wanna replace your fields in the right position and that's basically it. And when you're happy with that, just click on save and close. And that's it, you've just updated the underlying document sitting in your template, rather than creating a new template and starting the whole process from scratch. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.